Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we're going to talk about a, a very common problem with a lot of cars today. Everybody has tire pressure monitoring systems on most of the new cars from like probably 06, 07 and on up to uh, the, the present day cars. The light comes on all the time, um, low tire pressure or it shows you the picture of the, of the low tire or it'll come up tire pressure monitoring system, TPMS. Um, issue. Uh, I'm going to show you the easiest things to check first and then how to proceed to the more difficult things that can cause a problem. Uh, let me bring you in this truck. I'm going to show you what's going on with this particular vehicle and then we're going to go through step-by-step -step diagnosing what the problem is and how to go about correcting it. The easiest thing to do is to check your tire pressure first. That's the most common issue with these vehicles. But when you get into the older ones, you never know what you're going to run into. So uh, let me bring you in now, show you what it looks like and how we're going to go about uh, correcting the problem. All right. First thing we're going to do, we're going to end the truck and we're going to verify the, the complaint of the customer. So we're going to start it up. And now this particular vehicle, it says on here, check tire pressure. But it also shows you that, um, that um, piece right there, low tire pressure. You see the indicator right there? That's a lousy picture, isn't it? All right, that's, anyhow, that's the low tire pressure thing. So, All right, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go outside and going to talk about it. I'm going to show you what to do uh, step by step now. We're going to do the, the easiest thing first, and then we're going to talk about what these tools are here. Um, first thing you want to do is you want to open up your door of your vehicle. And usually on the... Good morning. Uh, usually on the vehicle, someplace in the door jam, which is usually right down over in this area right here, it'll tell you what the tire pressure is supposed to be for each particular vehicle. If it's not on this door jam, it'll be on the uh, on the door itself. All right. Um, the next thing to do, and the easiest thing to do now, we're going to close this because that beeping noise is going to drive you crazy. Um, next thing you want to do, and the least, the easiest thing to do is to check your tire pressure. Um, now you do have the gauges that we used to use years ago, which is just pretty much a slide gauge like this here. They're very accurate too. But if you want to get something that's actually what I like using here at the shop is, is, is a tool just like this here. Um, this particular tool, what I like about this one here is you can put it onto the tire itself, you snap it onto the, to the stem, and you come over into, uh, into here, you press this button here, it's a digital of course, and you'll see that it reads it's backlit. It does have a light in the back if it's dark out, and it'll tell you what the pressure is. Um, if the pressure is uh, too high, and, and I might add, pressure that's too high will also make that, 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 that light come on also. So it's very important that the tire pressure be what it calls for on the, uh, on the, the door jam itself. All right, so you, with this particular gauge, you press the, the button here, and it'll show you what the actual readout is. And what I like about this is you don't forget to turn it off, and it turns off by itself usually after about, I don't know, 15 to 30 seconds, something like that. Um, if you need to um, take the valve out, what I like about this is it down in the bottom right here. It's got the valve extractor right in the bottom like this just in case you had to take the valve out of the tire for one reason or another. Uh, also, if you had to purge off air, you would just press this button here and you would purge off the air and you press and release until you get to your correct uh, pressure that's, uh, that's recommended. So, all right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the tire and we're gonna check each one of the tires one by one just to see what's going on with it, all right? For me, just because it's, it's me, I always, This one here, I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually 37.5 pounds. Now, that's probably too much. I didn't even look at the door jam, but I'm guessing it's going to be around 32. I'm wrong. It's 35. So just that two pounds of pressure is not going to cause the issue. 
But what we'll do is we'll just purge out some of the air. Just press your button like this and we'll bring you a little closer. That's where you can see what I'm doing and you can probably hear better what I'm saying too. See, it's actually at 30, 33.5. I'm sorry. Like right now, it's actually 36.5. So we're going to bring it down to 35. Okay, now I let too much air out, so. connect up to your shop supply and we bring it right back up to 35. All right now we're going to go around to each one of the tires one by one and check them each one. All right, this tire is actually 26.5 pounds, <clears throat> which tells me that there's something going on with this tire right here. It could be a nail or something in it. So before I go any further with this, I'm gonna check that back tire back there, and we're gonna see what's going on with that one. All right, being that this one here is showing 25.5 pounds. I'm pretty confident. Actually, let's let's get back on the other side and we'll talk about okay, this. Okay, so uh, in this particular case, being that there's one tire that's low and the other ones are all above the normal tire pressure, but we're going to assume that that right front tire has got a nail in it. So I did pull it off the car now. I'm getting ready to check it in the bucket and uh, we'll see what the problem is, all right? But, get, but if you're going to be doing the job, make sure you get yourself a good gauge just to make sure you have the correct tire pressure. Um, okay, so start with the easiest thing first. If that doesn't work, then you proceed further. You'll have to get something like, uh, you know, a, uh, you know the, the, the correct tool to go through it to figure out what's wrong with the sensors. In this case, it wasn't. This one, we're going to do a video on another day about this one. Um, but check, check the easiest thing first. With this, with this gauge here, I will put a link in the description down below of how you could uh, check these out. I think they're available on, on Amazon, or you can get them directly from the company itself, which I think is on Amazon also. Um, but um, I'll put a link down below for this gauge, and uh, you can check it out and see what I mean about uh, you know a decent product. Okay, now if we did our job correctly, we should be able to uh, take it for a spin, and uh, that light turn off. Actually, it's off already, so uh, we don't even have to. This one here, you don't have to worry about resetting it. But normally, what you would do is take it for a drive, and if you drive for about a block or so, it should turn off by itself. But as you can see, it already turned off by itself here when we made the pressure correct. Uh, we also did repair the tire, of course. Um, all right, as always, thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, you need to talk to me about anything, send me an email. I'll be more than happy to talk to anybody about anything. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.